Hi everybody, it's Andrew here from eLearning Brothers digging into the new Camtasia 9 for Windows um, or the Camtasia 3 for uh, Mac. Um, just opened up this up. Uh, looks pretty nice. Uh, it's got a nice new user interface. I'm seeing a properties bar that you can click on and roll out. Um, the same old media bin and library here and then a new ribbon that uh, runs vertical rather than horizontal like the old one. Um, let's go ahead and, and look at a few things in this first. First thing we'll look at is the library. Uh, looks like they a big part of the new Camtasia is that it comes with a, a slew of new uh, graphics and assets kinda like the old Camtasia 8 did but uh, these ones are a little bit new, a little bit more remarkable. It's like they've got an animated background section um, if we double click on these, it opens in a new window and starts to play them. It'll demo them right here in this window. Looks pretty cool. Let's look at another one. I, I believe I've seen this one a few times in some of their commercials. Um, they've got icons, all kinds of icons, and then they have a Motion Graphics eLearning Brothers. eLearning Brothers has created eight graphics, eight uh, templates that are pre-built into Camtasia 9 that you can use here. Um, there's four intros and four lower thirds. Let's go ahead and look at some of these. Okay, so that's one of the intros. Let's look at a lower third. Okay, it looks like they're all in the same theme. They're all uh, hexagon uh, here. If you double click on them again, you can see the demo. And they're all part of the hexagon theme. Looks like there's quite a few other uh, graphics here, a lot of other options, some music as well. Um, let's see if we can import a new library file into this. So we'll go ahead and open up uh, the eLearning Brothers website. Okay, and uh, here's all of the Camtasia themes that we had uh, in Camtasia 8. It looks like there's the Blue Mountain. All of these are the older ones. However, this one, Plasma, has Camtasia 9 tagged here. This is built for Camtasia 9 only. This one won't work in Camtasia 8, but it will work in Camtasia 9. It's kind of a sleek new style here. So I'm going to go ahead and download this uh, this libzip and uh, let's see what we can do here. We'll go ahead and do the exact same thing we did back in Camtasia 8. We'll drag that libzip into the library, click yes we want to import the zipped folder and there it is, there's the entire theme. So it looks like it imported flawlessly, just the same. Um, and it looks like we can drag each of these in, there's an intro we can play that. And that looks nice. Let's say I want to change this text. Let's try doing it the same way we would in Camtasia 8. We'll double click on it and it opens up the item in the group and if we click on it again, double click a second time, now we can edit the text right on the canvas. Introduction title here. Looks pretty good. What if I don't like that font or I don't want that uh, color? How do I edit it? There's not a big pane here to uh, change the, the information, but we'll click on this properties button and here's a whole all the properties for whatever I've got selected. So I can change the font, I can change the behavior. The behavior is another thing we haven't talked about yet. So the behaviors are what will decide how something is animated on the screen. They're kind of pre-built animations that are very, very exciting. If we play this, you can see it had an animation how it came on the screen and that's called the shifting style. The type is center to out, so it shifts from the center of the text outward. Let's look at that again. Okay, it kind of moved outward and then it continues to move a little bit. The during is called pop-up, uh, treats it as an object and moves the entire thing in a sign pattern. If we play that again, you can kind of see that swinging back and forth. 
and then it animates off the screen. If you click on the out, you can see how it was animated out. Uh, so these these eLearning Brothers templates that you download are already pre-built. The ones that you download that are built for Camtasia 9 are pre-built to use everything that Camtasia 9 has to offer to make sure that it's the most remarkable the template can be. So we've got those behaviors. Looks like there's quite a few, and you can apply these to, to items as well. In fact, if you come into these squares, looks like they've got behaviors attached to them as well. They grow in, they pulsate, and then they shrink. And if you play it, you can see that square that we had highlighted is pulsing a little bit. It's bouncing in and out. So we use those in our, our templates that you can get in our library, as well as the ones that you find pre-built in this Motion Graphics eLearning Brothers folder, this, this theme. Um, they've got visual effects, much like the old one, uh, Camtasia 8. Uh, they've got quite a few new transitions that are pretty cool and exciting. Um, the media bin operates the same as it did in Camtasia 8. It's just a lot smoother, it's a lot more powerful, it's a lot sleeker. And uh, eLearning Brothers is ready for, for this adjustment. We've already got quite a few themes ready to go, and all of the old Camtasia 8 themes will import into Camtasia 9 uh, flawlessly. In fact, let's try, let's try importing a Camtasia 8 template into Camtasia 9. Move the stone theme in, import it, yes. And it'll say this libzip was created in a previous release of Camtasia. Would you like to continue to import it? And I say yes. So here's the stone theme, and if you play it, it plays it just the same. That would be a half, and it was half. So let's grab uh, my favorite one from this one is the lower thirds. And we'll push play and view that. And there's that lower thirds. Works flawlessly in Camtasia 9. Um, a few things also to look at and compare here. Um, so the Camtasia 9 theme we downloaded was called Plasma. The Camtasia 8 theme we downloaded was called Stone. Um, the Camtasia 8 themes have four callouts, one half, one intro, five layouts, a lower thirds, and a transition. However, the Camtasia 9 assets uh, themes are a little bit different. We have two callouts, one half, we have two intros, only two layouts instead of five, two lower thirds instead of only one, and two transitions instead of only one. So we've really increased uh, the, the themes that we use to be a little bit more universal. We still have layouts for e-learning uses, but we also have uh, tried to increase the number of things that you'd really want in a video um, in case you're not making a course with Camtasia, but you're just making a video to supplement your course. We wanted to give you more assets so it'll be uh, universally useful in video productions. Or if you're not an e-learner and you just want to create uh, videos, we've got assets for you that are very, very useful and, and very universal for everyone to use. And those can be grabbed here at elearningbrothers.com at a very reasonable price. Right here um, on elearningbrothers.com, you can find that there's a lot of uh, Camtasia assets for, for pretty cheap. For $150, you're going to get all of the Camtasia template library, all of the stock video library, and the miscellaneous graphics art and clip art. And this is really great for being a universal video maker and using this brand new, great looking Camtasia 9.